Well, Anna, I'm really excited to catch up with you here at Fuse in Dublin. This really is the preeminent show for Open RAN. So maybe to start, give us a, a little idea of where Dell sees your CSP customers in their Open RAN journey today. Sure, and welcome to Dublin uh, to start with. Uh, here at Fuse, we see quite a lot of excitement about Open RAN. Uh, the technology has been maturing with the initial uh, deployments with the parks and trials. Last year, we heard quite a lot about greenfield deployments, and this was the major track. In contrast, and happy to see that this year, we hear more and more about uh, brownfield, uh, brownfield deployments and the operators' challenges along that journey. Uh, that is a great sign that we uh, yet achieved as a community, as an ecosystem, another major step uh, in the development process. We also see a lot of um, information, a lot of feedback on the deployments in the small cell and uh, private uh, wireless scenarios, which is also a great use case supporting the, the technology. Of course, we would like to see more uh, and faster deployments of the technology rollouts. Um, the trialing, the, the testing, the standardization itself is quite a time consuming process and uh, we're eager to see more and more news in the field. So Open RAN, uh, just one of the themes uh, that are being showcased here at Fuse, uh, security was a big one, but uh, I'm curious what else you've been hearing from your customers during the show? Clearly, security, as you stated, it is the priority one, as stated by numerous CSPs throughout the show. It is also the major requirement when you think about these wide-scale deployments. Many CSPs have already declared those within the next two to three years. Uh, so zero trust, uh, zero touch provisioning, uh, these requirements are at the top of the list. Uh, yesterday we had a lot of interesting discussions within the integration and testing effort, so that is still the top of the mind. Tomorrow, I think very much looking forward sessions to um, uh, focusing on AI uh, and automation. So myself, I'm really uh, interested to hear what the CSPs will be sharing, how far they are on the journey, what their priorities are in that space. Uh, last but not least is the monetization that is brought by the open run, high hopes uh, within that space, and also through the AI at the edge for the enterprise customers. Yeah, let's talk a little bit more about interoperability and testing. I, I think TIP's been very active with their membership uh, running their certification and badging programs, but still, when you get into a disaggregated multi-vendor RAN, interoperability and testing hugely important to get these systems deployment ready. So uh, just uh, any more thoughts on what the industry can do collectively to really drive that forward and accelerate sort of time to value for CSPs? Yes, yeah, so that has been a, a theme of yesterday, as I mentioned huge priority, huge value as well that the certification and badging process brings. So Dell is a proud holder of TIP uh, badges for some of our servers for compliance, uh, meeting the requirements and being compliant with OCU, ODU uh, deployment. Overall, it's a, it's a huge effort. Uh, it has been stated many times that actually the process of integration, associated testing uh, requires a lot of uh, a lot of work for multiple reasons. One is that we have three releases of uh, open run specifications every year. So being compliant to the latest one uh, at that pace uh, is uh, is a huge push and, and huge effort. For a multi-vendor testing, there is a bit of a synchronicity challenge for multiple vendors to meet at the same point, being able to test against the same um, the same release, for example. This also keeps the vendors in a way accountable uh, as we motivate each other uh, to reach a certain level of uh, maturity of the products that we bring uh, for testing. As it was uh, also estimated uh, uh, yesterday, about 80% of testing will be done within the common labs, community labs, vendor labs, neutral labs, but there is still a huge effort to be taken by the operators themselves to ensure that the end-to-end -end solution that they are about to deploy meets the requirements. The requirements of their end customers, the, uh, the uh, enterprise customers, and the end customers like yourself and me. 
So I want to talk a little bit about the, the ecosystem play here. When I think about Dell Technologies, I, I see a company that is very good at putting itself at the center of an ecosystem and then bringing in the right partners to deliver the right solutions to your end customers. So maybe just tell us a little bit about the ecosystem strategy that's guided the telecom systems business at Dell. Well, certainly, as you say, uh, Dell has a, a, a breadth and depth of expertise overall in the IT systems through networking and storage and cloud. And as we have, together with our partners, uh, helped multiple industries to go through that uh, tremendous uh, transformation. So these partnerships strengthen our overall uh, portfolio and uh, certainly accelerate and help accelerate the deployment of solutions like Open RAM. And you referenced earlier the importance of uh, labs in this whole equation. Uh, Dell, obviously notable for the Open Telecom Ecosystem Lab. Maybe just tell us a little bit about what the hotel is, what it does, and some of the outcomes you've seen. So Autel, as you mentioned, is the Open uh, Telecom Ecosystem Lab. It's an initiative of Dell where we uh, open our doors for our partners, for other vendors to come and test the proposed solutions uh, in an end-to-end -end fashion. Uh, that certainly there risks uh, the, the deployment for the CSPs. It saves them time. As, as I mentioned, majority of the testing will be done in the external labs, but still there is a little piece that is left for CSPs to continue to make sure that uh, uh, the solution meets the requirements. What happens in the labs also provides us a great learning opportunity. Uh, as we work with the partners and other vendors, we also get challenged and we challenge each other, both for compliance with the latest uh, specifications, but also for additional features that may not be standardized, but are still required to enable seamless rollout uh, of, uh, of the solutions later on. Uh, Dell has a great presence here in Ireland, so we have big offices in, in Dublin, we have a customer solution center in Limerick, and we also have uh, the Otto Lab in Cork. So we invite all our European uh, partners to uh, join us uh, over there. So Open RAN is just one part of a larger cloud transformation that CSPs are undertaking. So as you think about this over the long term, what are some of the best practices that they should keep in mind? I would say they're all around technology, people and process. So with new technologies, uh, there is a, a huge learning curve for an entire organization. Uh, you need to plan the rollouts or incorporating new technologies like uh, cloud itself or open run architecture into your possibly existing uh, architecture and deployments that you already have. But at the same time, it won't be possible if you don't bring your team along. So there is a huge effort to upskill in these new domains uh, to keep everybody up to date. Uh, that re regards, for example, the, the cloud or upcoming AI changes that are inevitable at this point. From a process perspective, we would recommend to start small uh, as a learning uh, experience as well. Uh, validate maybe the assumption, learn through the small scale deployments, uh, celebrate the little wins, uh, and then get ready uh, to uh, roll out at a, larger, uh, at, a larger, at, a, at a larger scale. Yeah, I think that's right. It's got to be practical and it's got to be short term actionable. But, um, and Anna, I know you don't have a crystal ball, but we're in November of 24, so maybe give us a, an idea of what you see coming in 2025 for CSPs. Well, we don't have a crystal ball. The, there is a lot of reflection behind us, and what I see reflected is actually one of the themes of fuse here, which is accelerate. I think this is something that we really see next year, acceleration of the deployments, moving from small scale or smaller trials in, a, for example, rural environments that the CSPs were testing to more urban environments, getting ready for wider scale deployments in two to three years. What I would like to personally see is how we bring this technology to emerging markets. Uh, in areas where the connectivity is still scarce, uh, that might be a great use case, how to close uh, the gap, uh, close the, uh, the digital divide, and enable use cases such as educational healthcare. Excellent, well, Anna, I really appreciate you taking the time to speak with me here at Fuse and to share your perspective with our audience. Thank you so much for having me. Enjoy your time in Dublin. Mm -hmm.